Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. Now you will see, thanks to Pilin and the wonderful topic that we discussed in the last episode, we have one more participant today. I'm going to introduce you to our new participant. He's very new to our show, so I'm going to give you, give him a couple of minutes to figure out what this program is all about. For those of you who are familiar with our show, just know that we air five days a week, Monday through Friday, Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios 35. We tape in the studios of Manhattan Neighborhood Network. So we tape our shows here in the studios, right here in Manhattan, but we also air in all the other four boroughs, which means you can receive us wherever you are, you can receive our show, except that the other boroughs will get it a little later than Manhattan. So folks in Manhattan receive it first. You can also go online, uh, mnn.org. That's Manhattan Neighborhood Network.org. 1.30 to 2 in the afternoons. Go to MNN 3. We have four channels. You go to the number 3, which is actually funny enough. It's not lifestyle. It's actually spirit channel, even though we don't talk too much about spiritualism. Uh, spiritualism. I'd like to introduce, I'm going to save Pilin for the last. I'd like to introduce a very new face to our show. Before I do that, I also want to acknowledge our crew. Sometimes I don't get a chance to do that at the end of the show. Roberta Espinel, uh, Richard Swanson, thank you so much for hanging in there for us. We really appreciate your help. Wilkie, Wilkie Colin, right? Wilkie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Usually when we have a new face, we like our viewers to be familiar with uh, what you're doing. I know we first met you some time back and we were, I, you were actually watching, I think you were actually watching one of our ep episodes or maybe you came in for a lunch. Correct. We met at that time and now you're doing something really amazing. You're actually talking, you're training basketball players. Sure. Tell us a little bit. Sure, Banu, and thank you for having me on the show. Pleasure. Um, so currently we're starting a men's basketball league okay. uh, in Upper Manhattan mm -hmm. at uh, cu currently at Columbia University, right. where uh, men uh, of age 21 and up can participate in our league. Right. And you have a website? Sure, I definitely do. Uh, the website is www.breakawayhoops.com. Breakaway hoops. That should be easy to spell. So I would <laughs> correct me if I spell it wrong. B R E a k a w a y h o o p s dot com. That's right, Bruno. We live in North America. I want to make sure we don't get the spelling wrong. That's what I tell everyone. Yoga Express. If you go to my website, yogaexpress dot com, it's y o g a x p r e s s dot com. You can keep up to date with all our future tapings, which may be suspended for about a couple of months till we move to our new premises, to our re refreshed premises. Mm -hmm. We're actually updating our old studio. Mm -hmm on 59th Street. Nice. Now for the big moment you've all been waiting. So don't forget, don't forget to check out Wilkie's website, breakawayhoops.com. Stay in touch, can they, um, before I move on, can they keep in touch with you through your website? Is there a contact? Yes, yes, they'll definitely be able to keep in touch uh, via the website. If they have any questions, right. uh, they can sign up on, on the website as well. Very good. And uh, so it's uh, user friend, very user friendly. Okay, fantastic. Welcome to the show, Wilkie. It's Thank good you. to have you. I finally found a way to drag you here into the studios. This is a new studio. <laughs> this studio is actually very well equipped, but we're hoping the other one is also going to catch up. I believe it's all fully done. So we may move there. Right now we are taping in 104th Street. We're going to go back to 59th Street in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll see you there as well. Definitely. For the big moment everyone's been waiting for, <laughs> Pilin Anise. Pilin mentioned, we talked about something really interesting yesterday. You know, honestly, Pilin, I have to say, I never thought much of chia seeds. I just thought it's for one of, you know, it's like when you think about a yoga teacher, you think about cactus pies and aloe vera juice. That's how it made me feel. You know, just because we're yoga teachers, can I ever go in and have some French fries? Right. But you know what? You made it sound so appetizing, and you missed that, Wilkie, but I'm sure she'll bring in another theme today as well. Mm -hmm. You made it sound so appetizing. Chia seeds, just sprinkle a little bit on top. On your yogurt, on your parfait. Really How about on my French fries? And I do that and too. your French fries too. <laughs> you're still getting the fiber, right? You're still getting the fiber, which you'll you need if you're having French fries. Right? So. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> So what, what do you have in store for us today? What do you well, today we're going to talk about fermented vegetables. 
Ah, okay. You know anything about fermented vegetables? No, I definitely learned more. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the fermented vegetables we're talking about, just because you know we're coming out of the off the winter months, and a lot of right. people have been taking antibiotics and things right. like that to get themselves better. And what happens when you're taking antibiotics is you're also not just killing the bad bacteria in the gut, mm. but you're also killing the good stuff. Oh, my but God. you need. Okay, I'm so sorry. eating something like uh, fermented vegetables are going to replace that and help your your gut. It replaces your, the good bacteria. The good bacteria. Okay. The probiotics. <laughs> I want to be sure. Yeah. The probiotics, okay. yeah, yeah. You not not the bad stuff, the good <laughs> okay. stuff that you need, that, that your intestines right. and your digestive system need to uh, function optimally. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Before we move on, I want mm -hmm. you to say I, I have lots of questions about fermented vegetables, but I also need to acknowledge the music. What? Yeah. Uh, what music is that? This is called Shamanic Dream. Shamanic Dream. Yes. For those of you who haven't heard this music before on Yoga Express, just know it is courtesy Pilin. Pilin is also a yoga teacher, and she was going to use it for her shavasana this evening in, in her down. class Absolutely. in the cool down yeah. Shavasana by the way is dead man's posture Wilkie in case you're not sure what that means sure. uh, we don't use too many Sanskrit terms I just happen to mention that <laughs> Pilin, so I've heard of one fermented vegetable in Korea they f uh, they ferment cabbage mm -hmm. kimchi right kimchi yeah. right uh -huh. so is that that's one perfect, example that's of fermented perfect vegetable? example a in India, example. we also ferment um, the tiny mangoes we call them uh, they're baby mangoes mm -hmm. So we actually, uh, when you say ferment, you're talking about soaking in brine right. and leaving it for a while. And leaving it, sometimes it's just four days. Four days. It's oh, four okay. days is what the time that it takes for it to start to, to culture. Okay, okay. We probably ferment almost everything. We uh, ferment lemons. See, that's wonderful. But here in this country, we don't. We don't. Why is that? Uh, who knows? We like french fries. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are the good properties? <laughs> what maybe we can convert a few. You right. see. One, one, one person a day. That's right. Yeah, totally one person a day. So we have to kind of retrain ourselves. And Give us some examples. We're eating. And we have some great examples over yeah. in Asia of, of the fermented vegetables. Well, seriously. bring Asia to us. Give us yeah. a few examples. Of cabbage, mango. Cabbage, wine. mangoes, beets. Root beets. vegetables are great. Right. Um, okay. Carrots. And the carrots with ginger in it as well. Right, it's really right. lovely. Ginger is one of your favorites. <laughs> I <know>. Ginger, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, it's interesting that you mentioned before we started taping. You said ginger was not really your favorite when you were young. Not when I was young. But it's amazing how when our knowledge grows about a certain food, right, right. and then you're a yoga teacher as well, so automatically you start gravitating towards a healthful food, right? Yeah. And your taste buds kind of shift, and you start to like things that you. Right, that you, you didn't. Thought, you thought you hate it, you right. know, and then you're like obsessing over it. Like but I'm there obsessing are some over ginger. Things. What about wheat germ? Is that fermented? What is wheat germ? Wheat germ is not fermented. Wheat oh, germ is not. just like the brand of, of wheat. It's like the wheat, the, the germ of the wheat, which okay. is the, in, the inside of the of the wheat. If you break it apart, there's like different layers. Right. Oh, right, it's so not actually like, soft or so, It's not like mung beans. You call no. it mung beans. No, no, right? no. It's not like mung okay. Beans. But it's uh, mung among beans, so we call it mung in India. Well, you're, you're thinking of sprouting beans. So right. that's actually taking that's the beans. Not that's, that's not fermented oh, okay. per se, but it is sprouted, which also is very great. For it. it also has live enzymes in it, but it's not necessarily probiotics. So ha describe ferment. When you talk about ferment, you're soaking in brine. We talked about that. Right. What else do you need to add to it? That's it? Salt. Salt, yeah. You can add so salt. So brine salt water? Okay. Oh, sea salt, but not iodized salt. Oh, sea salt. Yeah. Why is that? Because the properties of it. You okay. don't want to use because it cannot be like filtered in any way. It has to be natural. Salt. Right. So no processing. So no it has processing. to be natural sea salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. We actually we do use something called uh, we call it salt. The salt crystals. Salt crystals. So I guess those mu that must be sea right. salt. Now I do have one concern about fermented foods. We're mm -hmm. talking about less sodium. So salt mm -hmm. is sodium. Mm -hmm. How do we explain that? Is that because of the? It's, it's something interesting because the fermented vegetables are not high in sodium. But they're not. They're not. Where does the salt go? It gets absorbed into the into vegetable. the into the vegetables. But then it's going and then into it, the system. And then it, it changes the the oh the, the component the component the of it changes. changes. Oh, I see. Okay, that's right. good the to know. Chemical structure of it. That's good to know. It's so kind of amazing. Yeah, it is. It, is. it really is. It's because it's, it has a nice sour taste to it, so it's not necessarily right. salty. It's sour. It's sour, not salty. Right. So you can ferment beetroot, right. beet. Right. Uh, you talked about ginger, carrots, carrots. As well? Carrots, and then and of course onion. cabbage. Cabbage is the most popular one, and you know, and that's actually, because it's easier. It has a lot of water in it. Right. Usually, when the liquid that you're getting when you're fermenting the vegetables is all from the actual vegetable, so you're really cutting them up very small oh, or shredding them up very small, right. and you're kind of beating them like with a with like a pro, like a meat processor. Right. Right. Um, and you're releasing all the juices and all the enzymes 
of the vegetable. Vegetable itself. Right. Isn't kimchi actually put in a mud pot and then actually kept Impressed. under the earth, right? It's present, it's that actually I'm buried. Familiar with. Apparently it's buried under the earth and allowed to ferment for a while. I don't know for how long. Kim, just kimchi, I just read okay. about that. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But for us, the little mangoes that I talked about, the uh -huh. baby mangoes or the lime or ginger, we ferment them but just in brine. We don't actually bury them, but I've heard kimchi in Korea, that's what they do. Right. Uh, can we get it anywhere? You can buy it at the stores. Kimchi? Kimchi. Oh, you're talking about all fermented vegetables. All fermented vegetables, actually. They have a nice, people are selling them, but they're kind of pricey. So, it's so I think it's better to just make your own. Make it yourself. Right, and I have instructions on my website. And all you need is a couple of mason jars and some vegetables. Mason jars, vegetables. And clean hands. Sea salt, filtered clean water. Hands, sea salt. Filtered water. <laughs> hey, go to Pilin's website, pilinanise.com. You, didn't you have another website as well? I did, separate? I did, but I've merged them. I had, merged. I had two separate ones that I just merged. Okay, so Pilin, P-I-L-I-N-A-N-I-C-E, PilinAnise.com. You can also check out her teaching schedule because Pilin's teaching all over the place. Yes. All over New York, right? You also teach in Connecticut? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you live in Connecticut, <laughs> you're receiving our show over there. You're watching online on MNN.org. Be sure to check out her site. You might run into her. Pilin. I think it's very easy to recognize you on the street. I saw you one day when you f you appeared on our show just one time. Uh -huh. I didn't, of course, I didn't remember your name right away, but I, as soon as I saw you, I knew I'd seen you somewhere. So you'll find her wherever you see Pelin, you know that you're going to get not only a great workout, you're going to get a lot of food knowledge as well. So anything <laughs> else you want to tell us about fermented foods before we move on to us? I say to try to enjoy them every day. No, hold on, hold on. It's very hard to enjoy <laughs> salty stuff. It's so not it? salty, it's sour. It's sour, so okay. It's, it's, it's something, it's a taste that people have to, be, to kind of develop, I think. It's an acquired taste. Kind of. And people, well, if you like I'm pickles, pregnant, I'm so not some people don't like pickles, right? Yeah. And you don't need that much of it again. And you can right. also add it to other things that can kind of complement and kind of offset the, well, that's the sour what I was taste. Say. Can you combine it with something Certainly. else? Certainly, like with whatever your taste wants. Okay, so yeah, and, and whatever some. you're eating it with is going to serve your body because right. your body's going to use that those digestive enzymes, the probiotics to help digest your food. So that's interesting because what we do when we ferment those vegetables, I was talking about the little mango and the lime and ginger. We actually have it. We in India we eat a lot of rice, right? And we have rice with yogurt. We call it curds. Right. So you blend the two. And of course, I, even though I say this as I'm using a spoon, we literally use our fingers. So you right. want, we always have to make sure we're washing. We're washing our hands 10 times a day. Right. Um, so you blend rice and the yogurt and then you use this if, and usually we, there's some of, some people in India, they like the taste of the fermented vegetables so they can eat, even if they have lots of vegetables, they would eat it, uh, the uh, fermented vegetables first. But when we don't have fresh vegetables, we use this as a backup. So it's just rice, curds, and the fermented vegetables. And I didn't even realize it was, it had so much it's so what wonderful it, probiotics. And what and what else? What other magic stuff? Enzymes? Like enzymes, which your body needs. Okay. And you also might, for, for youth yeah. and vitality, enzymes, which I'm sure you've heard. Well, no. <laughs> well, your body you. needs enzymes to digest oh, the food, enzymes. right? Yes, yes. And what's happening, if you're not getting enzymes from the food that you're eating, your body's using its natural stores of it, and it's right. depleting. So this is That causes wrinkles and makes you look... It makes ah, you not feel so, so good. Makes you look like the it makes you look like a food. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so, yeah, that's why you always hear people say, oh, enzymes, life enzymes. It's so exciting. Right. You what, know? What are, just, just touch upon it. When you talk about enzymes, what are they? They're juices that actually bring vitality to the body? How you can think you of it that way, but it's really just like a chemical structure in the body, a liquid structure that helps it right. aids the body in digesting the food. It's absolutely necessary to move things out for the nutrients to absorb in the body and for it to move out, the waste to move out. Okay, that's a little bit much for me to absorb, but I'm Is kidding. it? No, 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 that's beautiful. Yeah. The way you explained it. I'm trying you know, to try to make it... No, you made it. You did, actually. You're it's such right. a process, but it's just the way... That's the way I think of it, just to help me think of it, because it's, it's, the body is... It's, very complex right you right. know especially in the chemical level but as we grow older is that when you talked about vitality and a yeah. nice skin and everything so as we grow older this is like a botox inside the body not necessarily a botox inside the body <laughs> but the way i like to think of it is like i said when you're eating foods that right. a lot of people are eating processed foods right they don't have any live enzymes or any any it's not alive at all right right everything's killed exactly so your body is working extra hard to digest that and it has to use its natural stores but if you're eating foods that are helping the body that are aiding the body right and actually replenishing the stores then you're going to find yourself feeling better and your skin will be will not be dry because you're, you're drinking water and you're having you know you keep yourself hydrated all those things are just important 
food. So it's important also, happen. just like with chia seeds, we should also drink a lot of water Absolutely. when we have fermented foods. Certainly. I know. I Not have, right away, but right, right, right. But right. just make sure that the body is well right. uh, irrigated. Exactly. So Very nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, that sounds wonderful. So maybe we do we do believe in yoga too. When you drink a lot of water, it does in some way improve elasticity as mm -hmm. well. So I guess this is in a way you get the nice sour taste in the mouth, and you drink lots of water. Your body feels nice and turgid, mm -hmm. nice and the skin is nice and tight. Right. Right. Okay. So here's an answer for aging. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I just happy. want one little tip. One little tip. Yes. Just one tip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to add something else. No, so that was oh, it. That okay. was the tip. That's the tip of Hey, the that's day. all right. That's a really just great just something, tip. That's something to put into really your body. Really good tip. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had. You know, unfortunately, we can in our studios. We're not allowed to bring food here. But go try it. You said they're available in uh, the Asian stores or also in the special stores. In the Asian stores, stores or Most a Asian health food stores. store. Health and there's food several stores. brands. I don't know if I can say them. But I think yeah, commercial yeah, so brands are not permitted. But okay. uh, yeah, you're talking about health food stores. So someone can just walk you into a health food store. You can walk in a health food store and they'll and usually be in like the cool, like in the cool section because they have to be kept cold. Oh, yeah. As so. in cool. okay. I thought in the cool, where right. you have all the cool. Right. Okay. <laughs> so just check it out. I think it might you be worth it to just try it. And like you say, it's an acquired taste. But it's you know, what's acquired, acquired taste? taste? I'm sure people can keep up with it. Right, right. So you don't need much of it. Again, just like the chia seeds, you don't need much. A little bit goes a long How much way. are they? Uh, is okay to eat? Just one tablespoon to two tablespoons. But these are vegetables, so you would say, you know, just you can a just small have a piece. small, a small amount of it is small. enough. We'll, okay. we'll give you the benefits of it. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of stretching. So join us. But before you do, well, while you are stretching with us, just know that you can also check out Pilin's website, Pilin Anise. Dot com. She has amazing uh, recipes in there. She talks about everything that she talks about on the show is on the website. Now, Wilkie is already ready with your legs outstretched, but you want to fold one leg in, Wilkie. So fold your left foot in. Make sure your left knee comes down as deep as possible. Wherever you are is fine. And Wilkie, you're a basketball coach, are you? Basketball player. Basketball player. Yes, okay. Yes. So you might find some of you, if you play a lot of sport, and maybe you're a marathon runner, whatever you do, if you play a lot of sport already, you might feel a little bit tight in the knee on the left side this time. So you want to keep trying and if you can, or if you've got something available to you, you might want to keep something under your knee, under your left knee, just so you don't feel any tension as long as you have contact with something. So keep your right leg extended, keep your right foot flexed. And notice that both Wilkie and Pelin have their socks on because we're seated it's okay but when you're doing standing stretches if you have to keep your socks on just make sure you've got those socks with rubber dots underneath you want traction under your foot now attach a sole of the left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh or as close as you can get now inhale take your arms all the way overhead turn your palms in exhale fold from the hip wrap your hands over your right foot and Pilin, while we're holding this, did we acknowledge the music? We did mention yes, it, right? Okay, we did. good. We don't want to get in any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> now, if your hands are over your foot, you want to try and pull your foot, your toes back. So keep your foot nice and flexed. And if you can go all the way as deep as Pilin does, head to knee, that's literally the translation of this posture. Janu Sisha. Sisha is head, Janu is knee. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Clasp your palms together. Let's come up. Exhale and release. Let's switch legs. This is where we um, time, got timed out yesterday. We're just repeating this one posture. Fold your right foot in. Attach the sole of the right foot to the inside of the upper left thigh. Turn your upper body to face the extended leg. Keep your left foot flexed. Inhale. Take your arms all the way overhead. Now, if you have any problems with space at home, you might want to do what Pelin did. did. She did a beautiful adaptation. She brought her arm straight up the middle. So clasp your palms together, exhale, and fold. Now, you want to, if your hands are over your foot, you could also do an adaptation the way Wilkie is doing. He's got one hand over the foot and the other hand is over the left hand. So the right hand is over the left, which is good because Wilkie has got the general concept really well because he's actually 
keeping that connection. He's not leaving his right hand out just because it doesn't get over the foot. But if your hands are over the sole of your left foot, you want to give yourself a nice little massage over here, right here. Because as you remember from previous episodes, all the nerves that lead to the inside glands and organs inside your body actually end in the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands. So when you massage your nerves at, on the soles, you're actually giving yourself a nice massage inside. Inhale, clasp your palms together. Let's come up. Keep your arms where they are. Extend your right leg out. Keep both your feet, extend, both your legs extended, both your feet are flexed. Exhale and fold. Now you want to place both palms, if you can reach them, over the sole of your foot. Now Wilkie, you've got your fingers over your toes, which is pretty good considering <laughs> you said you had tight uh, hamstrings. I think you're doing very well for that. If you're able to go as deep as pull in, you can bring your elbows all the way down, head to your knees, and then flex your feet. Give yourself a nice little massage if you can reach there. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale and release now we're going to do a little bit of a counter stretch we're going to cross tuck your left foot under the right heel and Wilkie your body will teach you how to make the adaptation so don't worry you don't have to go if you're not familiar with the <laughs> postures you don't have to go too deep maybe Pauline if you want to give them that we're following the red postures but you don't have to follow it just keep it on the mat it's sure. like your guideline tuck your left foot under your right button cross your right foot over your left knee now this is very similar to the posture we did in the last episode with a slight difference the soles of both your feet face the back of the room now oh, yeah this is the cow face yeah <laughs> so you want to make sure that if you can now all bodies are not made equal so my body doesn't allow me to align one knee over the other very comfortably you notice how Pillin's knee is aligned one over the other and uh, Wilkie has got a little more of an adaptation that's fine the idea is to do the best you can on any given day. You don't want to give up on yourself. So I'm going to try the best. And you know, you made a very good observation in the last episode. You said one side feels different. Oh, yes. So maybe the other side will be a little more forgiving, will help me a little more. And this is where people are mostly tight in the hip. Right, area, right? in the hip, right? Tight. I actually, I have a nephew <laughs> yeah. who, yeah, some, some people have very loose hip joints. Some I have a nephew are, who could when just I see do them, this I'm just like, like wow. <laughs> That's well, I'm looking at you right now thinking, oh, wow, you know, I'm like, <laughs> this is nothing. Right knee is over the left. So when your right knee is up, you want to inhale, raise the left arm up. Exhale, dip your left hand, the other arm, left hand, yeah. Dip your left hand at the base of the neck and the back. Take your right hand from behind, clasp the opposite fingers. So this is a real moment of self-discovery for all of us. <laughs> if your hands don't connect, and we'll keep just in case, you need this which I'm going to pass it to you you sure. want to put it over your shoulder if your hands don't connect today that's okay don't give up on yourself you do the best you can and Wilkie is going to use the belt if uh, I think our uh, crew might be able to capture him in profile those of you cannot see Wilkie yet just know that he's using a little bit of help with the belt and what he's going to do is every day he's going to wiggle his hands a little closer to each other till one day he can just get rid of the belt and that's the idea of a prop you just need them for as long as you really need them and you don't need them anymore throw them away inhale release the hands and let's untangle the legs let's switch legs remember our holding time in the studios is much longer than you would normally hold them when you're practicing at home you don't have to hold it this long we're doing it for you we're workshopping it across the <laughs> left foot over the right knee. You're absolutely right. This side feels a little more comfortable. This is my left one and this is not This is your tight side. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So finally I might be able to come a little closer to the way Pelin is. <laughs> now this, this posture is actually called cow face. Uh, Wilkie, in case you're not familiar. I have no idea why but some teachers have explained when the knees are aligned one on top of the other. They Maybe like the jaw. Of, yeah, the mouth of a cow. Or any, just, anything else, really. It could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is it a cow? Well, right? I have no idea. But also another teacher tried, well, you know how people always look for meanings in words exactly. when it has a name? Another yeah. teacher explained that when the elbow goes up, yeah. it's like the ear of a cow. You know how okay. cows are one ear up right. and one ear down? Well, I can see that. 
Okay, I there you go. I get that better. So we call it cow ears, not cow face. <laughs> Left knee is up. Make sure the soles of both your feet are facing the back of the room. That's okay. Well, okay, if you are, are you able to now bring your bring your right foot forward. Maybe that's why you're not able to go back. Now, are you able to take it over? Uh, a that's time. good enough. That's good enough. Don't don't hurt yourself. Don't uh, you need to challenge your body, but you won't, don't want to force yourself. Now, left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right hand at the base of the neck. Take your left hand from behind and clasp the opposite fingers. Once you've made that connection with or without a prop, you want to take your right elbow all the way close to your ear, take your left elbow back, so you're opening up your left shoulder, you're stretching your tricep on the right side and then you want to hold, sit up nice and upright. That's it. And don't forget to breathe. We talk about holding. It's always holding your posture, not your breath. This is especially important for those of you who are new to the show. And Wilkie, I want you to relax. Don't look worried. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Inhale, release the hands. And then let's bring, we are, oh yes. We are going to swing our left leg all the way back. Let's see if you can take it all the way back as gracefully as we can. Now it's not very easy to be graceful in the pigeon posture. I believe we may have a cue for two minutes. We have about a couple of minutes. Now take your left leg back and Wilkie, what you want to do is see if you can, if you're not comfortable bringing your right foot forward, you can sit on your heel. That's fine. What you're doing is fine. Now what Wilkie is doing in the back, he's actually got his toes curled in. This is where I would advise people to be very careful, especially as we grow older. When your toes are curled in, there's more pressure on the knee. So if you are okay, if you're comfortable, you want to keep your feet flat, the top of your foot flat. Beautiful. Very nice. So I'm going to try and bring my right foot forward. Now, one of uh, Josie and one of the girls who used to stretch with us, oh, Josie, she doesn't yeah. think this posture is complete without folding over. So let's fold over. <laughs> Exhale and fold. In fact, I used to love this so much, I'd sometimes go to sleep. Hmm. Inhale. Really? Oh, yeah. I, it, feels, it feels so good sometimes. <laughs> Press with your palms. Let's come up and let's switch legs. Swing the left leg forward take the right leg all the way back we're going to wrap up with this posture pigeon or capote and actually we fold over with the next posture and then Pilin is going to give us a 30 second wrap up take your left right leg all the way back exhale and fold very gently curl your toes in on the right foot glide your right knee to meet the left we're going to come into maha mudra or grand gesture take your hands behind your back hold on to the opposite elbows or wherever you can reach today exhale and fold on behalf of Wilkie Collin and our special guest Pilin Anise this is Banu Suresh signing off you are watching Yoga Express and thanks to our crew for hanging in there